There are a few scenarios that can be especially challenging for HVAC techs. It's not rare to get a service call in January, in the freezing cold, only to find a defective control on a less common model. The replacement might be out of stock, overpriced, or take several days to arrive. That's why universal control boards are a must-have on your service truck. In this episode, we'll take a high-level look at Copeland's universal control modules for both hot surface ignition and direct spark intermittent pilot models. We'll highlight their compatibility, features, installation, and how to use the White Rogers Connect app for easy configuration. Thank you to Copeland White Rogers for sponsoring this video. Please note, this video is intended for professional technicians only. Improper installation can lead to serious hazards like electrocution or fire. The 50M56X-843 is for single stage, hot surface ignition furnaces, compatible with over 500 models of PSC and ECMX motors. In the box, there's a universal hot surface igniter, six quarter inch spade terminals, six 3 16 inch spade terminals, five mounting standoffs, and four quarter inch sheet metal mounting screws. On the board is a range of connectors, eliminating the need for an adapter wire harness. The board features near field communication, NFC, allowing it to be pre-configured using the Connect app before installation, even without power. No Wi-Fi or mobile data is required. The 50D-50U-843 is compatible with over 1,000 spark ignition and intermittent pilot models, so you'll find a few extra connectors in the box. This includes a vent damper jumper plug, local flame sense jumper wire, 11 pin wire harness assembly, quarter inch QC spade nail spike adapter, six 3 16 inch spade terminals, four one inch sheet metal screws, and a shrink wrap sleeve. On the board are a range of connectors, including a Bluetooth connector, an air temperature sensor connector, replaceable fuse, an inducer motor connector, and a 24 volt alarm output. This module also has NFC for easy configuration. Overall, these boards are easy to install and configure. You can use the White Rogers mobile app to find a cross-reference. On the board is a seven segment display for showing status and error codes. The buttons enable configuration after the board has been installed. The preferred method of configuration is through the White Rogers Connect app prior to installation. You can scan the QR code directly on the board to download the app through the Apple Store or Google Play. Tap Connect to Control. The screen will show Ready to Scan. Place your mobile device on the board for a few seconds until the configuration screen appears. With the Auto Set feature, you can enter the part number of the OEM or competitor board that you're replacing, and it will automatically configure to match the board. Additionally, any settings can be adjusted as needed. Once the settings are configured in the Connect app, they must be uploaded to the control. Select Update Control and touch the device. It might take up to 10 seconds for the update to work. At this point, the control board is ready to be installed. First, disconnect all power and shut off the gas. Take a picture of the wires for reference. Remove the original control board. For the 50M56X-843, there are seven mounting tabs, five standoff holes, and two slide-in tabs. It's best to utilize the mounting that matches the existing control. Connect the wires based on the wiring diagram. 
This can help you identify the proper OEM wire connector. Now reconnect the rest of the wires, including the ground wire. For the 50D50U-843, there are four mounting holes. In this case, the module can be installed in any orientation, but it's best if it's mounted in an easily accessible place that will not damage or obstruct any wires. Reference the wiring chart as the wiring will depend on if it's a intermittent pilot or a direct spark system. There are also connections for the spark igniter, flame sensor, and vent damper. For more detailed steps, you can watch the official installation videos in the link below. Once the board is powered up, it will enter standby mode. The display will show active status as well as any error codes. Codes can be viewed and cleared directly from the control. Additionally, the White Rogers Connect app offers a diagnostic tab. You can also view and clear all error codes from this screen. Note that connecting to the board, updating configurations, and clearing codes from the Connect app can all be done unpowered but you'll still have to upload to the board for the changes to take effect. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.